Peak Design Everyday Carry Bag. Let's get into it. Well, welcome back to the channel. If you know me, uh, you know that I absolutely love backpacks. And most of you don't know me because I'm a loser with no following yet, but I'm striving away at this thing. Today we're talking about the Peak Design 20 liter backpack and it's actually just one of my favorite all time products ever. And I'm not sponsored, I just really love this bag. I got it on sale recently for I think 140 or 150 bucks on B&H and it is version one, version two. They did a few tweaks here and there, but nothing really major. And overall, I just wanna talk about how great this bag is now that I've used it a little bit. What I was looking for in a backpack was, I was looking for a bag that I could actually carry my photography gear in, as well as just my everyday stuff going to and from. So I like to carry a laptop or an iPad with me, my keys, my wallet, you know, maybe a book or two, a Kindle, some chargers. Um, gum, stupid stuff like that, just your everyday carry type of things. And what I found was that a lot of times in a backpack, you'll have either a photography bag where you have, you know, the breakdown layout of different sections where you could put your photography gear, and then some small zipper pockets on the outside and maybe a spot to put a tripod. But you don't have a mix of a good everyday backpack and a photography bag until I found this bad boy. And what I love most about this is it has separate pockets that are fully customizable and perfect for being able to carry everyday gear, change it to be a full photography bag or a hybrid of both, as well as having slots for your laptop and iPad stuff. So let's get into it real quick. I'm not gonna get into a huge detailed review of this thing. If you guys wanna check that out, I linked the Peak Design bag um, review below. So check that out for the full detailed uh, review and feature set of what this thing can do. But let's get into my over. I'll talk about the zipper pockets and what this thing brings to the table. So first of all, you have your main pocket, which is a top entry, and it has a really cool magnetic latch where you have to pull out and then down to unhitch, unlatch it from its locking mechanism. So you won't ever have those, you know, annoying, um, those type of things where it suctions up. That's a terrible description. Uh, no annoying zippers or anything. It's just a nice, easy top load with this really cool latching system. And I found that it really locks well. And yes, I have worn this bag with the tags on for a while so that I can still do this review because I'm that dedicated or that much of a loser. I also like that there's different latching points where you can close and open the bag. That allows you to load it up all the way to the top and then have uh, you know more room and you could latch it onto this top latch, which I'm not doing well because it's hard from this angle. Um, but you could latch it on from the top or you can cinch it down and latch it onto the bottom if you're carrying a smaller bag and you don't have this extra flapping uh, area around. So I really like that. You can see right now I have it set up so you could fit in a lot of your everyday things. This is where I put books, uh, magazines, Kindles, notebooks, notepads, um, anything that I'm really carrying here. Sometimes I'll put clothes or shoes or a jacket in there um, in the three days that I've owned it uh, and carry that around in this main pocket. Additionally, it's got this cool little magnetic pocket here um, to be able to carry any secret things that you wanna put in there. A great place for a passport or something like that. One thing I will say about this bag is it's really well designed. It's like a peak design if you will. Every one of the enclosures is nicely sewn up. There's good sewing all the way around. There's magnets with a lot of the opening opening pockets and stuff like that. So the details are just really well done here. So that's the top load little pocket. And the, pop, the top load pocket is all connected throughout. So now let's talk about the dual zipper pockets on the side. It zips open really easily, usually. So, it's a dual entry on the sides and it goes all the way through. And this is the same pocket as the top load right now. So if you look in here, which I'm not showing very well, but this pocket is connected to the top. So when you're loading from the top, you can also access it from the side. And this allows for really nice on-body access. If you're swinging the bag around, you don't have to top load it every single time. You can unload zip one side, hold it while it's on your body and be able to access all your gear. It's really, really nice. I thought it was kind of stupid at first because why would I unzip one side or try to get them the other side? And if I unzipped it, would all my stuff fall out? But I really like it because now when you're on body, the performance is really easy to access and get. To. Now let's talk about the magic of this bag and that's this main area. And the reason why it's so magical is because it's fully customizable. The whole middle area has Velcro throughout. Again, I'm not showing it very well. But this area is all Velcroed. So you can now change 
the complete layout of your bag however you like and customize it because of these magical little inserts that Peak Design gives you. Uh, and these things are really what makes the backpack because they're based on like an origami design is what they, they went for. Um, and so say the bag is, it has three dividers as it comes like this. Now, if you wanna make the dividers smaller and make the sections smaller, say you have you know a smaller lens or a smaller camera, each of these dividers fold in different ways to change the layout. So now you have three divided little sections in each of the sections. A horrible description, but you understand what I'm saying. These things can do a lot of things. In addition to being able to fold up to create small divisions, they can fold completely up like so and be able to go allow longer areas. So let me show you that. So as you can see, these are all laid out just as normal as they come, but I can fold them all up. And now I have a huge section for a nice little 70 to 200 lens on the side here. So, so many different things you can do with the bag just by being able to change those around, pull one out, um, pull both out to create a huge one big storage space, fold them up, fold them into small subdivisions. I mean, there's so many different layouts you can do with this thing. It's so flexible and there's so much control. I really like the design of it. Overall, what that really allows me to do is exactly what I was trying to achieve. And that's being able to put all my photography gear and use it as a photo bag. I can rip one of these dividers out and create a nice big space at the top and still be able to hold, you know, one daily camera and a couple lenses. Um, or I can go no camera bag at all, pull them all out or just shelf it and use it as a normal backpack. And that's why this bag is so incredibly valuable. Not many bags can do this. I don't think there's any bags that does it as well as this on the market right now, especially for the price. But let's get into a few more details of the bag. You're hearing my keys um, knock around and that's because I have them on this little tether loop system. This is a peak design. Um, this is kind of what they're known for is their little clip in tether loop system. Um, and so it's a little key holder strap that goes in one of the side pockets and on it they give you one of these peak design clips that you put on your keys. Um, so you can easily store your keys, take them off, unclip them, and you know that they're safely and easily always accessible. So I just, you know, love little details like that. Then I just keep my keys right in the side pocket at all times. They can't go anywhere and I can't lose them, which saves me about 20 minutes every day because I have no brain. Moving forward, let's talk about the side pockets. Each of these side pockets unzip to allow for additional storage. These pockets are really well done. They're a flexible um, panel, if you will, so that if you store this thing and load it up, this thing flexes and holds everything nice and tight and safe in there. Um, inside each of these pockets are some beautifully sewn pockets um, for you know small things like batteries and pens and memory cards and um, I keep a tripod mount in here. I keep gum in here because my breath always stank. And it's just a nice little area to keep things secure. The one thing I will say that's kind of annoying is to get to these, you're gonna have to unzip the main pocket and then unzip a secondary pocket. And if you don't want to expose what's in your main pocket to get to just a stick of gum, well, now you're crap out of luck. Um, especially I found that if you're in the rain or something and you don't want to expose your main gear, there's no really way to get into the interior pockets to get your small things that's your everyday carry. So that is a little bit of a flaw, but you know, beggars can't be choosy. That's one pocket. On the other side is a you know pretty similar pocket just with a little bit of different um, layout here. Uh, it's a little bit deeper, bigger pockets, and then another few bigger pockets here. Same design though, same flexible uh, panel, which I really like. It's got a lot of flex to it, and this is the worst review ever because it's so cumbersome. All the zippers are really nicely done. They zip easily, they don't snag, they call it some cool technology, I don't know. But I just know that they're really nice and easy to use. One thing that I really found interesting for those who travel a lot is um, these little zippers have an anti-theft system on there. So they have this little loop, which I don't know if you could see very well here. Uh, but they have this little loop that's right here. And this loop allows you to zip up the top zipper, unclip it, it's got a little loop on the zipper. Let me hide my face so you can see it. And then you could put that through that loop and clasp it back to the zipper itself. So now, it's an anti-theft locking system where this cannot be unzipped without taking the time to unloop it and unlock it from that. I think that's a really cool little detail that I just love. And honestly, I keep one side of the bag locked with this little lock at all times and I'm only accessing going in and out the other side. 
That does mean that this side, the interior pocket, I got, you know, less accessible things in there, like backup batteries and whatnot. Um, but I just find it a great little design and that's on multiple uh, zippers here. So security and little details like that, like peak design, you. Good job, like you guys really thought through all the little details. Some other features I like is there's multiple grab handles. There's two on the sides, one on top. Um, I find that very, very handy for just loading in and out of the car, bike, motorcycle, whatever. Um, it's also got a, a luggage pass-through, so you can put the bag over your rolling luggage when you're going to um, the airport and traveling and whatnot. And then on the straps, these straps have these little bearing design uh, and they rotate, which makes them really, really comfortable. They're not very stiff straps. There's not a lot of padding on the back here and a lot, a lot of padding on the, on the backpack pads itself, uh, on the shoulder pads. There's not a lot of padding on the back of the bag, but in the version two, they did change that. They upped the padding in there and beefed that up a little bit to give you a little bit more padding. Um, on the front here, on these straps, you do have a sternum strap, I think they call it. It's a strap that hooks on from one shoulder strap to the other. So that allows you a little bit more support when you're wearing it on body. And then it's really easy to change the height of that or change the um, strap layout. So if you don't wanna wear that, you just quickly clasp it back on and it stores really nicely. Um, there is an optional uh, waist strap as well that you can get, but that's an additional charge. Um, it's a really awesome design as well. It's kind of on a pivot and it looks really comfortable. I don't really use those. I'm not hiking with this bag, so uh, don't really care about that. The loop system on the uh, actual straps to tighten and loosen is really well done. It's also very ergonomic, like it's just intuitive to uh, loosen it and tighten it very easily. Um, they've got little holes on the bottom of the loop, so if you want to just pull down with your thumb when you have it on body just to tighten it up and cinch it, it's really nice and it's just a smooth design. I find that you know I constantly have to tighten and loosen, tighten and loosen because I'm bougie. But this bag does it really well. It's got some loops on the front and some hooks on the front. And that's because in these side magnetic pockets, which are perfect for tripods or uh, water bottles, I always carry a water bottle in these side pockets. Um, but in here are some external uh, straps. And these straps are made for external carry. So if you want to you know, put a bike helmet or a tripod or a skateboard or a boosted board, if you're that cool, uh, you take this out and you strap them across body like, across body, across the bag like this, cinch them up and now you can have much more storage space for external carry. And that's another cool feature of this thing. Uh, there's straps in the side pockets as well as straps on the bottom. Now, I will say it's kind of annoying that those straps are not fully removable because I don't do a lot of external carry. I'm not, you know, hiking or carrying really heavy items. And these straps are always in these side pockets. So it's a bit of an annoyance for me. Um, but overall, it's nice for people that do external carry. Uh, and then there's multiple um, points where you can hook those external carries on. I really like it. If you want to put a sleeping bag, you can do an external carry there. Um, I like it for, you know, tripods. If you're carrying a tripod, you can put it on there. about the uh, computer pocket on the back? Let's open that up. So you have a small little pocket. That's where I keep my, you know, personal like wallet, um, cell phone, um, you know, anything like that. I want to keep it in here. It's a really nice, stretchy, cushy material that's in there. And then you have the uh, laptop and iPad sleeves in here. And I think it holds up to a 15 or 16 inch laptop um, and it just holds it nicely in there. So that's another really, you know, essential feature for me as an everyday carry. I need to have my laptop or uh, my iPad on me at all times um, because I act like I'm busy and have work to do. And I just like having the ability to carry everything in one bag, have all the essentials in there, and have the flexibility to change up my loadout. I mean, sometimes I wanna carry my drone and a camera and a laptop and go out and just film. Uh, and I have the ability to do that. And then at the same time, this could be a gym bag or a work bag with you know a weekend warrior afterwards. So I highly recommend the Peak Design, I especially at this price. I think I got this, I wanna say I got it on sale for 150 bucks or $140. Uh, and it was regularly $299. Uh, and it's worth it at $299, but it's hella worth it at $150. So uh, I'll provide a link below if you guys want to check these out or pick them up. I really like this like brown, gentlemanly color. I'm trying to be like a country man's man and it's just it's not working but i try my best i like the color i appreciate you guys thanks for checking out 
this little review of this backpack. Let me know what you guys think. If you have some questions or if you have some other bags that I should check out or if you like this review, hit me with a thumbs up and a subscribe. I appreciate y'all. Talk to you next one. Peace. Smells like a tech millennial who's real annoying and has a control issue. <laughs> I make myself.